Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, Mr. President. How are you this morning? Well, I'm fine. I think we better get seated. There'll be two ways to come in. First, still cameras, and then the yeah. When they tell us you press this button, we'll just have to start talking to you about that. Yeah. One at a time. Just a reminder, we have the notebooks closed while these cameras are on. <laughs> Keep your minds closed. <laughs> Somebody else's foot. Well, we finally have done that thing that you said about the last supper. Maybe one of the ones that you get on this side of the table. <laughs> Mr. President, the Speaker Wright is charged that the CIA has attempted to provoke the Sandinistas into taking repressive measures. Do you have any reaction to that? Well, yes, the reaction I have, and I think it should fit the Speaker, also is that there's no way that we can talk publicly about intelligence operations of any kind, and I'm not going to do it. So you don't want to take this opportunity to dispute his assertion. Is that right, Mr. President? I, I say if I start going down that road, then I'm creating the same violation that he did. So, so are you saying, sir, that he abused the privileges of the Intelligence Committee? I just say that it's common sense to not discuss anything having to do with intelligence or CIA operations and so forth. Some people think George Bush has overdone the Pledge of Allegiance issue that he's impugning Mr. Dukakis's motives. What's your reaction to that? I've kind of enjoyed it. I think it's a fine thing if our children, I remember it clear back to my school days, and that's quite a ways back, but I don't see any reason why they should not learn the various customs and so forth that have to do with things of that kind. I have seen many children today that don't know what they're supposed to do when the national anthem is played or when the flag goes by. And uh, I remember that I learned all of that in school. Why shouldn't they? But sir, do you believe that a teacher should be forced to teach something in our country today? Well, that's what they're there for. Their job is to teach something. Thank you. Aren't there other more serious issues than the, than the pledge, though, Mr. President? Yes, we've been trying to collect a, correct a lot of them, and I think that education, as a result of what Bill Bennett is doing and what now our new secretary is going to do, has improved education as they feel across the country. But obviously, there's much more to do. What kind of debating advice do you have for the vice president? What? What kind of debating advice do you have for the vice president for Sunday? Take no prisoners. <laughs> Right. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Let's go, please. 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 Let's go, <laughs> You're going to set the class in here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I recall that one of the major recommendations coming out of Dave Packard's commission was that we achieve a closer linkage between our strategy and our budgetary allocations. And I'm sure this becomes a particularly challenging task during a time of declining or minimal growth budgets. So I look forward to receiving your views on 
the strategic impact of the defense program reductions that we've had to make and how well prepared we are for the future. Admiral Crow, I understand you're going to lead off. Well, thank you, Mr. President. I would like at the outset of... Mr. President, it's a pleasure, Bill Well, Daniel, to see you. President of the National Conference of Bankruptcy Judges. Well, pleasure to see you, sir. George yes, Payne from Nashville, Tennessee. Hello there. Good to see you, sir. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Good to have you here. Mr. President Charles Clavert, I'm the president elect of the National Conference of Bankruptcy Judges. Well, thank you. Mr. President, I'm Conrad Dubis, being just a little old chief judge of the Bankruptcy Court in Brooklyn. <laughs> saw, you on, saw you on television last night, JC. You're great. Yes. Uh, Here's your cousin, Teddy. By the case before a bank judge in Cleveland, I walked in and he invited me to chambers. I walked in and there was a picture of you, Rodney. There was another picture of you with a football and another one with Pat O'Brien. I said, Judge, I don't get the connection. He says, Don't you know who I am? I said, Well, you got Don Miller. He said, Don't you know what that means? One of the four horsemen. He says, Boy, saw a picture with four horsemen. And he says, We went out to Hollywood and I was there with you with the governor. And I think, I mean, that went that way when I was there. But this was a picture you made of the new Rockney story. That's right. So you see, we all have something in common. Perhaps the four coats here. <laughs> yeah, the four coats. <laughs> okay. I'd like to present this to you on behalf of the National Council of Bankruptcy Judges, if I may, for a job well done. It, uh, it's, well, it's a larger than your normal, but not as big as the one you got in Atlanta. Oh, but I can use this and Jim Wright to speak. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all, right, all right, that's good. And well, New Orleans, I gave you a much larger one. I realize that. But. Well, listen, thank you very much. I'm greatly honored to have this, and I, I think that you bankruptcy judges and the service that you perform and make commerce and industry possible and justice to those who could otherwise be uh, defrauded of that you're entitled to. Thank you very Thank much. You. We appreciate, appreciate that. that. Thanks for the, giving us a little time. You know how busy you are. Well, Boy, we're you busy. sure are busy. <laughs> well, we appreciate the idea. Oh, well, this is handsome. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. I can see this now in the presidential library. Very good. As you can note, it says from the, some of the busiest judges in America. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, Thank you very much. How about one Sorry. formal photo here with everybody? Just everyone look right here. That's great. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. 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 I was former president of the Levitt County Public. We were out there fishing all the time. <laughs> this guy there, the county, we, we love you all. Really, whole family. He's apolitical political now, though. If this is I can't help it. I can't help it. I won't roll, won't roll away all the way. Thanks, sir. Well, Appreciate thank you. Yes, sir. It's a pleasure. Thank your colleagues. Right. Most grateful for this. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, I come to Washington quite often. Yes. And that's all right. Well, that's in, that's in good, good. And if you think the secretary, you and I are supposed to go out on the steps for a couple of minutes for the, our press to get pictures and so forth, and then we'll come back. Good. Good.
process, or set, I should say, a process of motion that uh, will not end with this administration. The consistency of our policy, the continuation of our discussions represented by our meeting today will serve both our countries well in years to come. We're proud of the progress that we've made in human rights, arms control, and the resolution of regional conflicts benefit everyone, even the expansion of our cooperative exchanges and most especially people to people contacts. And the right right. Right. Hey, you want to move it doesn't matter. I know, you've got your microphone, you don't give it. I'm just letting you know what I'm looking for. fun Julie having this weekend?
Yeah,